All right, hello everybody. Welcome to I Command. This is round three of the Swiss rounds from the second Jawel Cup tournament uh, that happened on December 4th. Uh, I apologize, my voice is still healing from being sick. Uh, I've, tried, I've been trying to heal and rest my voice, but I don't want to wait too long to, uh, to get these videos posted from this past tournament. So, uh, we've got Destructor playing against Kyle Bossom. And Kyle is on the left playing uh, Empire in the blue deployment zone. And Destructor is on the right in the red deployment zone and has started with initiative and has taken the red deployment zone. Um, unfortunately, so this is pre-recorded. This is not a game log. I actually did have a chance to record this, but I have not seen the game or um, seen the results even. Unfortunately, the players, after I set the recording, ended up switching sides. So unfortunately, we've got Kyle's deployment cards on the right side and Destructor's on the left, but at least it's not... You know the same faction um it's empire versus mercenary it shouldn't be too difficult to uh, tell what's going on um i'm playing this back at one and a half times speed so hopefully this won't be a super long video um and then we've also got um so kyle has audio his uh microphone in this game but destructor is doing text so i'll be following along uh in the video with the text but we're going to have the card images up on the screen here for you guys to enjoy. So we are playing on Spoils of Crime. This is the mission where you have to pick up the crates. When you do, you lose two movement points and you reduce your speed by two. And then at the end of each round, you get two points for each crate you're carrying. There are four, five, six crates uh, on the map, two down in the Rancor Pit, four strewn along the middle. And we've got, it looks like Destructor has already activated Jabba. So he's drawn a, a fourth card. Um, there's a blank card in his list, actually two blank cards. One of them is Bib Fortuna. Uh, the other one is Clan of Two. Unfortunately, with the way the the new Vassal update, the uh, I think Destructor has not updated his module when he was playing, so those cards are going to be blank, but you can see the figures on the map there. Actually, the child companion is over Bib Fortuna. And uh, so he's playing, uh, Destructor playing Scum. <coughs> excuse me, has Focus Greedo. He's got Mando um, with Clan of Two, uh, Onar, Greedo, a, an elite Claudite uh, shapeshifter, uh, Dr. Afra, Jabba the Hutt, and Bib Fortuna. And we've got Kyle playing Empire. Looks like Kyle has activated his officer. Uh, Kyle's playing double elite sentries, one of which has General's Ranks, which we'll throw up in just a second. Two Dark Troopers, which are from Season 6. General Soren, who is exactly the same, actually, as his FFG version. It's just he, uh, his cost was reduced by three points in Season 4, I believe it was. And then he's got an Officer, Zillow Technique, Rule by Fear, and Advanced Comp System on General Soren to give him some reach to that ability. And we'll throw up... Uh, I'm trying to do this. Oh, no, that's not what I wanted to do. We'll throw up uh, General's ranks here so you can see what that does. So that means that whenever those sentry droids attack uh, outside of their activation, they get plus one damage. Whenever they move outside their activation, they get an extra two movement points. So that's really great with Soren. Uh, it means that when he uses his ability to give an attack to one of those sentries, they're going to get an extra damage. So let's kind of talk about the game in progress here. It looks like Kyle has opened his door. He's activated one group of sentries and one officer so far. The officer moved down to the terminal. It looks like the sentry opened the door and the other sentry moved down. And it looks like he's also moved his other sentry group down to the hallway. Now it looks like Soren is going to be activating. I'm going to move up against this wall here. Uh, and let's see, on, on Destructor side, he's got the Claudite Senator... Uh, has activated that that is in the senator form um, unfortunately i don't think we have the forms available in this uh venue but basically what it does is it's for an action it can distribute three power tokens amongst friendly figures so it looks like he's distributed two power tokens a block and a damage to mando and one let's see what is that 
uh, one damage token to uh, Onar, who's also been focused. Also, um, Destructor running First Strike in his list. So that is the upgrade that gives both players four VPs at the start of the mission. At the beginning of the first round, specifically. And it looks like he spent one of those VPs with Bib Fortuna, who can focus for an action, but additionally can spend a VP to focus another figure. So three figures focused on Destructor's side here. Onar, Mando, and Greedo, thanks to Bib Fortuna's bartered information and Jabba's uh, inform. And we've got Greedo has moved down into the terminal room. Uh, Destructor not opening his door here, which I think makes a lot of sense to me. Uh, Kyle has a lot of offensive long-range firepower with these sentries, and even the Dark Troopers with their reroll. Uh, opening the door seems like inviting a big mass of fire for Destructor, so it looks like he's going to fight coming down through the maze area. And so we've got a Dark Trooper activating for Kyle. Use those jets. Um, the liftoff ability. So moved four spaces and then picked up a <coughs> crate. And the Dark Trooper is really good with these crates because of that liftoff ability. Um, it doesn't use their speed. It just moves them four spaces. So even while they're holding these heavy crates, they can still fly around four spaces with their liftoff ability, which is really great. And again, I apologize, my voice and the sniffing is probably um, really gross, but I did want to get these videos out on a timely manner. So, Destructor um, looks like activated Afra. I don't know, it looks like he activated Mando. So, Mando's exhausted. And Sentry going to take opportunity here to take a shot at Mando. So, because of General Soren, he can use that um, surge to stun. Uh, Soren with advanced firepower gives a surge for stun. So that's going to deal one damage and stun to Mando, which is really important. Um, actually, a big part of Kyle's strategy with this list is giving the stun surge with Soren to those sentries and dark troopers, which stops a lot of these return fire abilities that you see on mandalorian um, his protective fire is a big one uh, we also have seen uh, mayfeld has the return fire ability from season six so if he can stun them um, with the attack then they cannot use these uh, reactive attack abilities back as long as they're stunned now of course the child uh companion makes Dealing with stun on their activation, pretty insignificant. Just use Force Seal to remove the stun. Uh, but turning off that protective fire can be a big game for Kyle to avoid taking a ton of return fire damage. So, looks like the child did end up moving. I think Destructor forgot to move the child down with Mando when he activated Mando. But because of the stun, the return fire was not active there anyway. All right, so it looks like Kyle is all out of activations, and we just have Onar on Destructor here in round one. Uh, it looks like Kyle has picked up two of the crates with his Dark Troopers, so he's going to have four VPs at the end of this round um, if those Dark Troopers are not defeated. And we've got Onar activating, going to move down towards the terminal, keeping that door closed to really to protect Jabba and Bib. Because um, opening the door, Jabba just has to sit there, and he's just inviting attacks on Jabba. Um, who is not a bad figure to kill, since he generates so much victory points, against, especially against lists like this, with a lot of lower-cost generic figures. Doesn't look like Owner's going to be attacking. He doesn't really have any targets. Kyle has really positioned his figures well behind line-of-sight blocking terrain. And uh, managed to attack... Destructor without getting attacked back, which is always really good in skirmish. If you can land attacks on your opponent and not give them any good attacks back at you, uh, it's really strong. So it looks like going into round two here, we've got Call the Vanguard being played. I should also mention it looks like Planning was played in round one, and uh, we have Rally was discarded 
for a rule by fear by Kyle. So call the vanguard being played. Looks like Iron Will is going to be played in response. So this looks like a sentry attacking uh, Onar. It's going to be three damage. All right, Destructor playing take initiative. No negation for Kyle. Destructor going to exhaust Dr. Afra for that. So I'm not going to be activating Afra this turn. And it looks like excavating planning with Afra. So let's put Afra up. Excavate a really powerful ability. Let's Afra replay, uh, or any figure in Afra's list, or just Afra's player replay one and zero point cards that aren't named Take Initiative. So by excavating planning, any of his leaders are going to be able to play planning from the discard pile to draw two cards. So super good. Planning is one of the really good ones you can excavate with Afra. Although she's not a leader, so she can't do it herself, but. It lets one of the other leaders in the list use the card. Alright, so we've got tools. Okay, so it looks like child active. So he's going to activate Mando. Uh, child removed the stun and one damage from Mando's. So basically undid that attack. And now we've got uh, Mando moving down and playing tools for the job on a Beskar spear. So it's going to be Pierce 2. He's going to spend a power token. He has a reroll here. It's going to be 5, 6, 7, 8, Pierce 2. Uh, does he reroll? I would reroll the yellow there, probably. Yep, there we go. Nice. Huge attack. 4, 5, 8. Surge for plus 2 is 10. Um, Kyle can exhaust Zillow technique here. And I should put the Mandalorian up. So if he exhausts, so the and he's shooting at a sentry droid. So these guys only have eight health. Uh, let's see, he's got ten damage on the dice. So that's ten minus one is nine. If he zillows, it still takes eight. So I don't think Kyle can save it here. Oh, using Bib Fortuna's illicit arms here, discarding Celebration. Oh, Kyle's got Parry. Nice. So Parry, because the Sentry is a Guardian, it can play Parry. Adds an Evade, stops that one Surge, which is adding two damage, and that's going to bring the damage down to six, exhausting Zillow to stop the Pierce 2 from Beskar Spear. Now that was just the first attack. That was just one attack, but by stopping it from being a one-shot kill, um, he's going to force Mando to waste his second attack, uh, finishing off this focus sentry instead of putting a bunch of damage into the into another figure. So um, I think very good to keep it alive, even though it's not going to survive this activation. Um, keeping it from dying to that attack is really good. So, who is he going to, I mean he's, Destructor's just going to have to attack this uh, focused sentry. He's got to get it off the board. That's what Mando does. He deletes figures. Like, you can maybe not get deleted by one action, but he will delete you if your health is 10 or less, basically. Okay, Kyle has asked who the second attack is targeting. Structure says same guy. Um, looks like he's spending another power token for plus one. So I guess that was two damage power tokens. So Destructor going really offensive with his Mando. Oof, really good roll. Um, I don't think anything could stop this sentry from dying. It's only got two health left. So six points for Destructor, five for the Sentry, and one for Jabba with nefarious gains. And makes sense to pitch that celebration there for Bib Fortuna. Uh, it's just the only unique figure in Kyle's list is Soren, 
And I think Destructor definitely needs to be focusing on getting rid of these these uh, droids first. All right, so Sentry Droid activating with this is the one with General's ranks. Uh, I think it's part of the group that just lost a figure. So it looks like he's attacking uh, Mando. Oh no, he's attacking Onar. Excuse me. Which makes sense. Onar's got three damage on him. Uh, so he's going to do yeah so Kyle pointing out um, because the child activated first Mando then activates then clan of two pushes the child figure to an adjacent space and that means that you can't push you can't use clan of two's push ability to put the child on the Mando the child has to move on to Mando when it activates um, so that's part of the trickiness of this card but going back to the um, sentry droid, it looks like we had a multi-fire happening here. So that was important. That means no protective fire from Mando because he doesn't have the child on his space. So we, ha we saw, it looks like two damage to Onar there. And we've got a focused attack going at Mando. Uh, looks like, looks like he, okay, so he searched for focus on that last attack. And I'm sorry, I'm trying to keep up. I did, it is going pretty fast here at two times, or 1.5 times speed. But he'd set, he spent a surge to focus, and he has that ability because of General Soren. So he used Soren's ability, you can see him standing there, and... He has now stunned Mando with Soren's other surge ability, and this is all because of advanced firepower. So stunning Mando, keeping Mando stunned is is good. Um, I don't know how important it is actually in this instance because he can't use protective fire anyway. He's already activated. I wonder if he should have just pierced there, um, or maybe focused. All right, so now we've got Onar activating, going to spend a damage power token, moving up to the middle to take a focused attack on this Dark Trooper. Uh, looks like Element being played, so that's going to remove the defense die, which is great for Onar because Onar doesn't have any uh, pierce abilities. All of his abilities just add damage and reduce accuracy. Wow, that is a really good roll for Onar. Six... Eight, search for plus two. He's got plenty of accuracy. Just huge attacks from Destructor. Uh, I believe the Dark Troopers have 10 health. If I'm remembering. Yep, they have 10 health. We've got 10 damage showing. So Kyle can discard for Zillow. But it looks like Destructor beat him to the punch and added a damage with... Bib Fortuna's illicit arms, which is such a great counter to Zillow Techniques' pitch, although it means you are usually down a card on the exchange because then they don't have to pitch. So that's going to get be a kill on the Dark Trooper. One shot with Onar, massive damage there. Just a huge roll. Alright, so we've got another Dark Trooper going to jump down this hole. I don't know if that works. Uh, so he jumped down the hole and he picked up the crate. But if he's using lift off, move up to four spaces. Oh yeah, I guess that works. So he would move to the mission ability would send him down to the Rancor pit and then he could continue his movement from there. So yeah, that totally works. And that means he gets to pick up another crate. And so he'll be getting four VPs from that particular Dark Trooper. Um, yeah, the Dark Trooper is definitely very good on this particular mission. Normally figures would be slowed down. At this point, if he was carrying two crates, his speed would be zero. But that's not the case here. Alright, so we've got Greedo moving up. Going to make an attack, targeting the Sentry. Another focused attack. Perfect roll again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It's going to take seven damage. So one short, but still a perfect roll for Greedo there. Uh, he could have pitched a card to force 
Kyle to pitch a card to Zillow, but I'm guessing that last card he's got in his hand is probably pretty good and not something he wants to just trade for a random card from uh, Kyle's hand. So now Kyle can activate the Sentry Droids, the two there on the left side of the middle above Soren. I uh, imagine he's going to want to get that one health Sentry out of the way or, or maybe just go, have it go out in a blaze of glory. But this is going to be the undamaged Sentry activating first. Uh, I would guess multi-fire. So generally you want multi-fire to multi-fire with the sentries uh, because you just you just do way more damage with two attacks even though you take that punishment of minus one damage. You generally, you would do the charge shot if you only have one target and it's far away. Generally. Or, you mean either or. Um, Alright, so this is on Onar since we're not seeing a defense die. Gonna search for plus one and focus, so that's gonna be four damage to Onar. So the focus again is coming from General Soren. Search to focus. Loving what General Soren is doing for this droid list. Um, these figures have lots of surges, especially the sentries. So being able to surge for uh, focus and search for stun is really useful. So this is a focused attack targeting Greedo playing targeting network here to re-roll so that's good so he's going to do three damage to Greedo and stun and that's going to trigger Onar's extra protection here uh, which we will throw up on the screen So it looks like owner's going to move his two spaces and attack the sentry droid. That's unfortunate. That means that sentry does not get to activate this round. So Kyle probably wishing he had activated that damage sentry first. Uh, yeah, really unfortunate to lose that activation. To lose that multi-fire. I think he was counting on maybe taking out Greedo. Uh, that, hence why he stunned him to stop the parting shot. Ooh, yeah, so Kyle still got um, General Soren here who can give an attack to somebody else. Um, Soren can actually attack Onar and give an attack to the sentry droid to attack Onar, so that could be pretty good. Um, Destructor has just the Claudite left, it looks like. Oh, no, he activated... Uh, he's got Bib, Fortuna, and just activated Jabba to focus... The Claudite. Oh, nice. So Soren activated and did new orders on the sentry droids. So this is going to be a fresh group of... Or no, wait. This is, these are That's only one group of sentries. So he's going to get to activate one sentry droid because so far Destructor has killed one out of each group. Alright, so Bib now activating... Oh no, excuse me, the Claudite activating, and the Claudite is on the scout form. So just to read it off here, here, we can actually pull it up on this site. Oh, you know what, I can't pull it up on this site because the scout got changed. So the scout form is basically you can swap out any die for a blue die when you attack. So instead of red, green, yellow, he's going to be rolling red, green, blue with a focus. Attacking the sentry droid there. With He also has priority target on the scout form. So able to shoot through Mando. We've got surge for pierce 2, surge for plus 2. It's going to take 6 damage from that one. I'm bringing up the scout form in another page here. There we go. So, yeah, Rifleman, when you declare an attack, replace one die in your attack bowl with one blue die. Uh, let me put the Claudite up here. So there's the original Claudite um, deployment card. So we're going to do 6 damage to this sentry droid. 
all of Destructor, Destructor has definitely picked his figures so that they deal maximum damage with, with their attacks. Um, but other than Mando, not the most resilient figures. Uh, but, it, you know, strike hard, strike first, no mercy. That is the Cobra Kai way. Alright, so we've got the Sentry Droid activating for Kyle. Looks like multi-fire being used here. Going to re-roll. Four damage. Oh, nice. Going to do rapid recalibration. He's going to do three damage and focus. Put rapid recal up on the screen. Let's that is a card from season five for droids that lets them change one die to any side. Um really more at its best on figure droids that can roll red, um, so including the dark troopers, but good when you need it too. If you if he's looks like he's doing plus one surge there. All right, so second attack from multi-fire targeting the Mandalorian. Focused from, again, General Soren's surge ability. And by the way, if you're wondering what changed about these, they are just one point cheaper than they were in FFG. Oh, man, that is a crazy roll. So six damage to Mando there. So Mando's got 14 health, though, so five health left. Uh, yep, <laughs> Kyle reminding Destructor that he exhausted Afro for take initiative, so not, not going to get to activate her this round. Um, and it doesn't look like he's used planning either. Okay, so Bib, Bib there we go, Bib's going to use planning, so that's going to give him two fresh cards for free. Really good to fuel illicit arms, and now that he's next to that terminal, he's going to get to draw two cards. Uh, both players drawing two cards. So Kyle gets four points for objectives. But Destructor uh, fairly ahead here with two kills to Kyle's no kills. Alright, so Kyle getting initiative since Destructor played take initiative last round. Oh, it looks like Kyle forgot to activate his officer last round in round two. So I'm going to move him up. So, checking for end of round abilities. Doesn't look like there's any on either player's side. So let's see. Kyle's got initiative here. He's got three health left on Onar. Four left on Greedo. Five left on the Mando. I think killing Onar is definitely a priority. Uh, which, honestly, I think would be best done with that play we mentioned before. Have General Soren activate, attack uh, Onar, hope to get a lucky roll with the blue yellow for three damage, and then have the uh, the the droid, the sentry droid attack. But maybe maybe not, because if he does that, then that sentry droid might lose its activation. So maybe he just needs to activate the um, the two health sentry here, that's right underneath Soren. And, but does he multi-fire? It's not focused. He doesn't have like inherent modifiers the way that Destructor does with Bibs Illicit Arms. Um, yeah, this is interesting. I think it's like we're just waiting for Destructor to come back from... Uh, having to leave for just a second. It's too bad the Dark Troopers can't really help out in this fight. So it's really just two sentries, two divided sentry droids and Soren versus all of Destructor's hitters all focused in one place. Um, that's... I mean, so multi-fire is really strong, but the problem is that it has you splitting fire. Um, so he hasn't quite been able to turn all of that multi-fire damage into a kill on any of Destructor's figures. He's done a ton of damage, for sure. 
like 15 plus 9 is, seven, is 18 um, or 14 24 you know that's a lot of damage but it's not resulted in any kills for him which means that uh, Destructor's List is still operating at maximum capacity alright so this is good covering fire that's going to give um, the sentries some extra surges and it's going to give him Surge for plus 2 damage on the Sentry Droids because Greedo and Mando are both stunned already. Covering Fire. So here's what that card does. Okay, so Multi-Fire from number 22, Sentry Droid. Going to attack Onar first. Going to try and get the kill here with the extra surge um, minus one damage because of multi-fire he does have a surge for plus one from Soren so he's gonna re-roll so lots of surges here so he's got two surge for plus one so he's gonna surge for he's gonna use double surge for plus two so that's gonna kill Onar and he's focused. So now he can attack Greedo. Oh, he's going to attack Mando. He's focused. I mean, he could do it here. He has to deal 5 damage. Uh, and Destructor did not use Force Exhaustion. I would definitely have used Force Exhaustion here. On the child. To make him take away a die. Because he's going to have a reroll. He's got a Surge for plus 2 with Covering Fire. Oh no, he's only doing four. So he's one short. Oh man. That was a good play. Um, I wonder if maybe he should have gone for Greedo there. Just to get two figures off of Destructor's list. And then maybe try to get rid of Mando later. Uh, it's true that if he waits and Mando activates and clears the stun with the child, then he loses the power of covering fires, search for plus two. So maybe that was just a necessary risk, considering that Kyle's playing from behind. If he had killed Mando there, it would have been really good for him. So And actually, it would have been even better than killing Ornar and Greedo. So I think that play does actually make sense um, from Kyle's perspective of needing to catch up here. But now we've got Mando is going to activate and, of course, can just delete this um, sentry droid. Uh, uh, trying to use it on sentry droids, but the dark trooper is six points and sentry droids are five. So that is not a legal play. So that is being taken back. Here is primary target. But, in my experience, even without a focus, Mandalorian does not have difficulty. Well, oops, no, that's not the right card. That, so, that I guess he does have Zillow to stop the Pierce too. So, he's going to pitch a card. I think he's hoping he survives here. Oh, that looks like Assassinate. Uh... Oh, it can't be Assassinate because he played Heightened as well. So he's, oh, he's pitching a card for Bib for Illicit Arms. So six. And stops the one. So interesting that Kyle's going to still exhaust Zillow there. So all of that should have happened before Kyle pitched for Zillow and exhausted it. So it took five. Element of Surprise was excavated by Aphra, so that's going to remove the defense die. And that kills the sentry. <coughs> so, <coughs> these uh, sentry droids, unfortunately, are their health pool is kind of right in the sweet spot for Mando to take advantage of. I think even without all those cards, um, Illicit Arms just makes it possible for Mando to get enough damage to kill them. Uh, Mando very strong right now, in my opinion. Um, we've seen him do well. 
In the league, he did well in the first Vassal tournament. Um, we saw two lists using him. There were six players in this tournament. Um, I will say he did not win. Uh, you know, minor spoiler. He, Mando list does not win the tournament. So there's that. But, uh, all right. So what happened here? Dark Trooper activated for Kyle. Bit odd there. Basically passed. I'm not sure. And Destructor once again has forgotten to activate the child. Kyle reminding him. Oh, he didn't. He didn't forget to activate the child. He forgot to push the child with Clan up two, and that is a mandatory push. You have to push the child to an adjacent space to the guardian that's holding it. Alright, so Claudite activating. Looks like Destructor discarding body card to add a damage with Bib Fortuna. Kyle's going to discard a card, change of plans to add a block with Zillow Technique. Let's see. This is on Soren, who has 8 health. So it looks like he did 6 damage. Soren going to activate. Unfortunately, nobody around to use Bombardment with. Because uh, he can't do it with the Sentry. That moved away. Unlikely to deal two damage to Mando, especially if Destructor uses the child's uh, force exhaustion here. Also unlikely to kill Greedo. Okay, interesting. So he's having the... He's using a bombardment... Oh, interesting. So he's having the officer perform an attack targeting the Claudite. So that's cool because that attack will gain Blast 1 from Bombardment. So that will put Mando down to 1 health. So he might actually get the kill here if he gets lucky. Uh, good roll. So 3 damage, Blast 1 to the Claudite. So 3 damage to the Claudite. Mando goes down to one from the blast, and now Soren has to deal just one damage to kill this Mandalorian, but he's got to get through that plus one block. Oh, Mandalorian is going to shoot the officer with protective fire because the officer attacked a figure that shares a space with uh, the child. So, since officer attacked Claudite, Claudite's sharing a space with the child, Mando gets to attack and kill the officer there. Alright, so now we've got Soren. He's going to make his attack. He's got to deal one damage. Uh, it's going to slow roll us here. Did it. Wow, he did it. He got... Man, that was such a good play. I didn't even see that. <clears throat> so, Mando goes down. Kyle goes up to 26. If he can kill Greedo, I mean, he will have wiped out a, the bulk of Destructor's offensive force. And that um, Dark Trooper can still move up and open the door with liftoff. Alright, but Afro going to try and take some vengeance here to finish off the two health Soren. Uh, that looks like it'll do it. So it's going to be 4 damage, pierce 1, so 3 damage. Even and, and Kyle's out of cards, unfortunately, for Zillow. So that's another 6 points to Destructor. So all Destructor has to do... Let's see, if he picks up a crate, he'll go to 39. So he's 1 short. So Kyle going to pass... I don't think Afra has line of sight to the 
Okay, Greedo going to activate. Going to remove, stun, and move up next to the two health uh, sentry droid. And of course, this is setting up for a Jabba's order hit. Um, since Jabba hasn't activated. If he doesn't order hit, yeah, he'll kill the sentry and go to 41. So Let's see. Kyle's already activated the sentry there, so he's a bit stuck. He's going to have to high roll, I think. So, Dark Trooper just picking up these crates. And I think this is where we see Jabba order hit on the sentry droid. So, he's going to pay two VPs. Yeah, lift off, just completely ignoring the penalty of spoils of crime. Oh, that's right, slow on the draw. So, because slow on the draw, he could kill Greedo if he can do four damage. Uh, and there's the timer. So this is actually the last round, unfortunately. Oh, they're saying they got a 10-minute extension. I guess they had an issue with the beginning of their game. Uh, Destructor. Asking if he can undo the Greedo move. Yeah, that's a little late. That was like two activations ago. And honestly, I'm not sure about letting him take back the order hit. So I think uh, he realized he should have put Greedo behind that wall. So if he had kept Greedo behind the black wall, um, he would not have to deal with this return fire or slow on the draw attack. He would still be having to make one, two, three, four, range five. Okay, so he's just not going to use order hit. So instead he's going to focus and draw. He's going to have... Initiative start a round. If Kyle can take initiative, he has it. Uh, Kyle pointing out they do have a 10 minute time extension. Oh, he's got negation. And Kyle telling Destructor to finish it. So Kyle does gain 6. He did gain 6 there to go to 32. But yeah, all he has to do is move the Claudite up and kill the sentry. <clears throat> so, that was an interesting one. Uh, there's a blank card being played. Oh, Assassinate. So that's the game. Uh, yeah. That was uh, a lot. A lot of attacks going back and forth. A lot of really good rolls um, for Mando and, and Onar and and Destructor's figures, but leveraging his offensive cards really well. Um, Kyle's playing really well there, but his figures were just getting picked off so fast. And uh, that's it. That's the end of the game. So Destructor wins. And we're going to have the games from the top four and the finals as well. I hope you guys join us for that. Thanks for watching, and have a good day.